I've got 10 reasons why you should not buy the Asus Art Pro Studiobook 17. Reason number one is the awkward 16 by 10 aspect ratio of the screen. Reason number two is the hard drives in it are in RAID 0 and although that does give you blistering performance, the issue with that is that if a single drive fails, the whole drive is dead. So your data is basically essentially striped between two different drives so that it can read and write twice as fast, but when one fails, your data is gone. Reason number three, this thing costs $2,000. $2,000. Which isn't bad considering the hardware that is under the hood, but again, if you're looking for a budget laptop, this is definitely one that you're gonna avoid just because of the price. Reason number four, the battery life isn't that great, but if you look at any sports car, it's not like you're going to be getting the kind of gas mileage you would in a Prius and a Ferrari, so it's kind of hard to argue that. But again, the battery life is not the greatest. You might be able to squeeze a few hours out of it, but it just depends on how hard you push it. I mean, this is built for performance. Reason number five. Although the touchpad is pretty good, it's not as great as a MacBook Pro and that's what I'd like to see at this kind of price point because again two thousand dollars you should be getting the best. Reason number six the charge port on this thing. Let me show you. Give me one sec. And look at it. The charge port is right there smack dab in the middle. That's just awkward. Reason number seven, I have not found a dock for this machine yet. So if anybody knows of a good dock that will work on this model, please go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know so I can check it out. Reason number eight, the ethernet has to be external on this. Because ASUS has made it so thin, you're gonna have to use a USB 3 dongle to be able to get a gigabit ethernet adapter on it. I would have liked to have seen something that you can just plug in on the side that it maybe just kind of opens up to be able to allow the RJ45 to fit right inside the chassis. Reason number nine, this laptop is heavy. If you're looking for something that's lightweight and easy to take with you on the go, then you want to avoid this model. It is a tank, so it kind of weighs like one. And finally, reason number 10, it does have a bit of a odd shape because of the 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So just the laptop itself, if you were to be purchasing a laptop bag for it, it may or may not fit just because it is a slightly different shape. And there you go, guys. That is 10 reasons on why you should not purchase the Asus Art Pro Studiobook 17. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you did like this video, go ahead and slap that like button now. Uh, and if you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and click the little notification bell so you can see what other videos I release shortly. Now, if you didn't like this video and you still made it this far, I'm going to teach you how to do a mega dislike. You do a double click on the dislike button and then a triple click on the like button and then it's mega disliked. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.